Hello guys, and welcome back to Jai Jimbo Productions. Ronnie here, and I have a new mock for you guys. Today, this mock is a LEGO Star Wars mock that the 212th and the 91st Clone Battalions are here to rescue some lost Special Force clone troopers. Now, this battle has multiple aspects and probably took over anywhere from eight to nine hours of time now parts of this may not look like it took that long but this also includes making customizations to certain vehicles and uh, building of some old vehicles I have so first thing I'd like to point off is we have our air combat now this Jedi interceptor I got a little over a week ago. I wanted to include this in this mock. In the droid compartment, we have the R2 unit from uh, Plo Koon Starfighter. And then we don't have a Jedi in there. We just have a clone pilot. Now, this clone pilot is trying to escape from this droid Starfighter. But along with that, he does not know that in this droid base, there is an anti-air uh, turret. Now, you may be curious about why there is there is an android commanding this. So, the whole background behind this is basically this uh, Special Forces ARF Trooper and uh, this uh, clone Special Forces here. Let me turn my flashlight on. This clone Special Forces crash landed here two days prior to this battle. They were able to set up a camp down here along with communication. Now this communication was only a short range communication so they were only able to contact Republic Forces on this planet. Now the Separatists had seen the escape pod crash, but they didn't know exactly who, who had crashed and where they were. They couldn't find the clones. So, and they knew the Republic was going to come to get them. So, they hired some extra backup. They called in Dengar and some of his mercenaries to help him with this fight. Which those mercenaries, one's up in the anti-air turret. One's in this other turret out on the front defenses. And then three more on separate speeders during the battle. Two there on picture and one right here. Now, other aspects of the smock. On the day of the battle, the separatists had finally found out where the ARF troop, the special force clones were. So they sent two commando droids in. They knew they were in the cave, but they did not know that this ARF trooper was up here, and he was scouting out the battle since he knew Republic reinforcements were on the way. Now, the the defenses of the Separatists is one AAT tank, along with an assortment of droids, specifically two battle droids, and a decent amount of B-1 battle droids. Now, they also had two jet droids which fun fact uh i don't know if this is with all lego uh binoculars but at least all lego binoculars that i have have a small circle specifically built so you can put them on the back of droids now for the republic's assault the republic has two atrts commanded by 91st clone troopers which i spent time while making this mock to make the 501st uh, ATRTs uh, smaller. And they also have an ATAP walker for this assault. Which, uh, I, which is, this is the newest version. Now for the assault, they have 501st clones along with 91st clones. Now, along with these clones, they also have a bomb squad team and the bomb squad team's whole objective was to rescue 
Darth, the Special Forces team. While everyone else's job was to hold off the droids. Now we have this Jedi leading them. Now, if you have watched the Clone Wars, you know that there is one of these species of Jedi in, I think, Season 2 with a, a attack on Ryloth. And we also have a Special Forces team from the 327th Sky Corpse. These guys have a... Whoops, I hit my ACRT. They have a anti-vehicle gun. They have a uh, better blaster. And then they also have a Gatling laser. So this is an overview of the mock again. Let the camera focus. Now to start the battle, the Republic has taken some losses. They have lost three clones already. But the heavy 327 troopers are already taking out two droids. Most likely, the clones will win this battle and fight for another day. But, they have many uh, chances of also losing this. Now, probably one of my favorite parts was designing this base. I really like my satellite I made here. It can go up, down, spin all around and that stuff. I have a nice power generator here with some uh, operating droids working at different circuits. I also love this anti-air gun I made. Along with this turret I made with a, uh, oh, let's, with a power box right there, which this is also the main thing I made. made. Now, probably the thing that took three-ish hours between collecting certain pieces and making everything work was all this mountain stuff. Now, as you can see, this is on one base plate with a one block elevation with a ton of different uh, colored bases, plates. Um, this was a lot of fun to make. Well, it was it was hard work, but it was it made it looked good in the end. And I really liked it. I especially liked how I made this uh, antenna. And uh, yeah, these clones that I have. And I like this, uh, uh, like this fire main. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll do one more overview of the mock. From, like, uh, right here. Okay, I appreciate you guys for coming out to my channel, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you think your friends would like this, don't forget to share it. Thanks, guys.